much do you recognize your need of God's mercy each day? Peace and all blessings to you, my dear friends. This is Sister Mayan Molina of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. All the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable, Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. There is a void inside in all of us that needs to be filled up. No one and nothing can fill that up except the one who created us with that void. To admit being a sinner is actually a grace, for it means that one is in touch with that interior void that can open up to God's action through His Son. Instead, the illusion of being holy, that is, of being whole and complete, is a denial of that interior void. And so, the ironic twist in today's gospel cannot be missed. The tax collectors and sinners draw near to listen to Jesus because they recognize in Him the one who can fill up their interior void. Instead, the Pharisees and scribes complain about Jesus' stable fellowship with sinners because they are blind to the fact that they themselves are sinners. Even a single repentant sinner causes heaven to rejoice, because in that person, the mission of Jesus is fulfilled. So let our prayer today be, Lord Jesus, correct our vision when we too easily identify the flaws of others, but do not recognize our own. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, through the intercession of Mary and all the saints, free the souls of the faithful departed from the punishments of purgatory. 
and through the intercession of Saint Michael, standard bearer of the heavenly army, guide them to the holy light promised to Abraham and to his descendants. I offer you Lord's sacrifices and prayers of praise. Accept them for these souls and admit them to eternal joy. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. <music>